Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Kingston, Idaho. And today I am going to show you a card that I made inspired from the mini catalog. So this is the card we're gonna be making. This actually shows you how you can have a beginner stamper, an intermediate stamper, and an advanced stamper. I actually made this card in both of my card classes and I have every facet of stamper in there and we were able to do this card no hiccups whatsoever anybody that wants to get a hold of me you can reach me at, on my email deborah reed attempt creations at gmail.com okay the stamp sets that we're going to be using today we are using the cute little nuts about squirrels i'm using both all four of the stamps we're using the little um, acorn and the branch, and then I'm using the Thinking of You and this Inside Sentiment from the Happy Thoughts stamp set. The items that you're going to be needing, you're gonna need a, a cinnamon cider card base, and then of course your envelope, a designer series paper, a piece of basic white, and then you're going to emboss a piece of pear pizzazz. I am using a different uh, paper and a different embossing folder than what the catalog has. You can use whatever you want, and I'm just gonna show you how you can just change from what somebody else did and create your own. This is the card. We are going to be doing this one today. You can use your dimensionals and make both of the tails on the squirrels lift up just to give it some more dimension. We are actually going to do just the one only because when you stamp the squirrel on the tree limb, stamping up didn't make this branch big enough and you lose part of the tail. So I decided to just put it on a dimensional. All right, all the inks that we're going to be using, we're using Night of Navy, Cinnamon Cider, Crumb Cake, Cajun Craze, Misty Moonlight, and Early Espresso. Let's get started on the card. We're going to take our little piece of paper. The very first thing we're going to do is stamp our tree branch. And I'm just coming off, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm coming off of the edge. And I don't wanna go dead center. I like to come up a little bit. So about right there. And then we're going to take our little outline squirrels. You have two outline squirrels and then two uh, squirrels where it colors the inside. So we're gonna take our little uh, four-footed squirrel and we're gonna ink that also in the early espresso. And we're going to stamp him on the branch. And this is where I said the tail gets cut off on this, but we're going to be fussy cutting a little tail out anyway, so it's not gonna be a problem. Now we're gonna take the other little squirrel with the acorn, and we're gonna stamp this right down on the bottom, just like that. Then we're going to come in with our colored ink and I'm going to use cinnamon cider and crumb cake. <clears throat> and we're gonna do the cinnamon cider first. And just line this up. Right there. And then we're going to do the crumb cake for the other squirrel. Let's see. Where did I put this? Let's see. Right there. Okay, and then we're going to take a brush with Misty Moonlight. We're gonna take our blend brush, 
going to take a little scrap piece of paper. Give me one second. I should have put the scrap piece of paper down already because I made a mess. Okay, we're going to come off the edge and we're gonna just do some sponging to just put some color around these squirrels. Only because just seeing just plain white just doesn't look as pretty to me. So I'm just coming around, just giving it a little bit of color. You don't want to do this before you stamp, otherwise your squirrels are going to be blue. And nobody wants to see a blue squirrel. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is come in with my sentiment get that out of the way so we're going to do thinking of you this does not have to be just a child's card it could be for an adult as well so keep that in mind when you're making cards they don't always have to be just for children okay we're doing the thinking of you and then we're going to come in with our Cajun craze and do the top of this little acorn and then we're going to come in with I believe I did the crumb cake I think I'm going to do something different though I'm going to use the cinnamon cider I think that might look kind of cool let's try that some cinnamon cider Okay, now where this didn't stamp completely, you can actually take your marker and just kind of color in where it missed, which I'm not gonna bother doing right at the moment, but you can do that and it's an easy fix. So now you're gonna take your card base and we're gonna fold it in half and crease it. I don't have my bone folder with me right now, so I'm just giving it a, well, you know what, it's not like, do this one. Okay, give it a nice press. It just burnishes it down and so it lays flatter. Now you're gonna take your designer series paper. I used the same paper in the pack that Stampin' Up! did, but I decided to use a different paper. And that's the beauty of making your own card. You can get inspired and case a card, but you don't have to make it exactly how they made it. So we're gonna put this on the cinnamon cider. And then we're going to take the embossed piece of paper. You can use anything you want. You do not have to do the same one I used or the same one Stampin' Up! used. I deviated and did my own thing because this is branches and leaves. I decided to just stick with the leaf theme. And this folder is no longer in the catalog, so no sense in even telling you about it. But like I said, you could do anything that you choose. I think I'm going to now show you how, so this is gonna lay on that we're not ready yet. So what I did with the leaves is I took um, leaves from an autumn set and <clears> then <throat> there's a punch and I punched them out however the stamp set does have leaves and you can use the leaves from the stamp set so these are the leaves with the veins you could have stamped those but I wanted to have them fussy cut or popped out and I didn't want to have to fussy cut them so I cut a strip of paper, all the sizes and dimensions will be in the link below. And you're gonna just adhere this to the bottom of the cardstock that's gonna go on the inside. And we're gonna take our little squirrel again, the one with the acorn. And I'm gonna stamp it again in early espresso. Actually, I'm changing. We're gonna do the one with the little feet, the four feet. And we're gonna ink it up in early espresso again. And we're gonna put his feet on the bottom of the paper. Like that. And then we're gonna take 
the cinnamon cider again. And we're going to ink it up in the cinnamon cider and restamp the outline image. This is so nice because you don't have to do any coloring. So for those of you that don't like to color, there we go. Perfect. And then we're going to take the inside sentiment in the Knight of Navy. So this is just a card just for just because. So it's thinking of you, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. And there's that, our inside's done. Okay, now we're going to take our little leaves and we're going to glue them on this little branch and I want it to look like one of these leaves is kind of falling. So I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of our Mono Tombow glue and you don't need a lot. Put one there and another one right here. And then this one's gonna look like it's falling. Okay, simple, simple. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're going to glue it. You know what, I am going to, I am going to um, change my mind because we can. I am going to put four dimensionals on just the corners and the reason is because you already have bulk here down on the bottom. And we're gonna just pop this up. That way this isn't gonna have a bend to it and the paper's gonna fit better. So, all right, that's what we're doing. Simple, simple. So pulling the tabs off. And we're gonna place this just like that. And what do you think? That is a simple, simple little quick, easy card. And we're going to adhere this to the inside with our tape runner. And if that isn't a quick, easy card, I don't know. That just went so quickly. And this is an easy mass producing card. I hope you like the creation. And you can also stamp, while we're at it, you can also stamp the little squirrel on the bottom. So let's do, let's do that and decorate, make the envelope look cute too. And then we'll put, oh, you know what? We didn't do, we're not done. I forgot to put the tail on. So you're gonna fussy, you're gonna stamp and fussy cut a tail. And we're going to put that on. Let's do that. Put a dimensional on the thickest part. Then you're gonna use the little mini dimensionals. Let me see here. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put three of them, two of them, three of them. No, we'll do three. We want this to stay down. All right, just like that, I'm gonna take the papers off of these. Almost forgot the cute little tail, because that looks silly without this finished. Okay, so we're gonna just place that right on top of here, and look how cute that is. There you go. And that, my friends, is our card. You don't even have to do the coloring on the envelope. If you choose, you can. I probably will, but that's it. I hope you like the card. I hope you'll consider the stamp set. And thank you so much for watching. Don't uh, think that you have to always create your own. You can always just use what Stampin' Up! has done and just take it from there. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I'm hoping to get some more videos out soon. I have been very, very busy. We've had a hay shortage here 
and we were scrambling to get some hay and we finally have some and so life is good again. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.